Hey guys, so I'm back with the second part of my tips and tricks video. In this one I'm going to have 8 more tips for you guys. Some of them are sewing issues, some of them are, well, patterning stuff and some of them are some upper body situations. So yeah, enjoy! So the fourth tip is about boobies. Nice big cosplay boobies. For people like me, this trick might be life changing. So, for demonstration, I start without any kind of padded bra. As you can see, there is something, but definitely not enough for those characters with extra plot. If you know what I mean. So, let's build up our career. I mean, cleavage. <laughs> so, with a regular semi push up bra, it gives me just a little push up, but still not to a level of being catcalled on the streets. It's nice and comfy, but of course we are aiming for something more ooh la la, so I will add another push-up bra. This step already does the majority of the magic. Usually I stop at this step, because to be honest, wearing all these bras are giving me almost the same shoulder ache if I would actually have double these. But anyway, if the character is even more boobilicious, like Power Girl or Old School Lara Croft, let's add a third bra. This one's supposed to be one or two cup size bigger than your usual bras. Mine is a non-push-up bra, this way it has enough space to cover up my previous two bras completely and preventing to have those weird bra lines on the shirt, and of course giving me an even bigger perkier lift. On top of this, chicken cutlets or socks can be inserted inside the bra for even more lift and effect. To be honest, I think my boobs are already looking like they're about to explode, just like my self-esteem and all the creeps fapping to this video, but since I decided to show most of the tips related to this topic, here is another working option to lift your breasts even more. Pin the straps together at the back and after a few minutes of struggling, this is how it's supposed to look like. Contouring can be a good option too if you want to recreate that brown booby illusion. You can just take some darker eyeshadow or contouring stick and try to draw them blend those shadows. At the end you can even add highlighting to your pride and joy. I think this one works the best for pictures though, but you can slightly see the difference in the video too. With the proper amount and shades of makeup, it definitely makes a huge difference. And there you have it, drastically bigger and juicier boobs with no doctor bills. You can notice the difference from all angles, I think it's quite convincing if you ask me. Anyways, here's an actual transition clip to show you the real difference. Basically, it's like going to cosplay purity. You know that awkward moment when you're walking around at the very crowded and hot convention floor saying hi to people you know and then suddenly you see your crush? And you become wet in all the wrong places? Well, I got you covered, girl. Usually I insert pads into the armpit area of my cosplay to prevent myself from all those juicy aroma stains. They can be actual sweat pads you can buy in drugstores or if you are cheap shit like me, you can use a regular panty liner. They work just as fine. Of course, if you live in a super humid and hot country, it won't prevent you from occasional sweat stains, but overall it does the job for me and keeps my cosplays more clean. I think this method is the easiest way to create any kind of pattern. It works very well for skin fitted swing patterns or for armor pieces. Here I'm wrapping myself with a plastic wrap. This part is important if we want to protect our clothes or skin from sticky residue. Next I'm going to use the duct tape. I decided to create a corset pattern, so I cut down tape pieces and glued them at the place where I want them to be. For presentation, I only taped my front torso. After I'm done with the taping, I take a black marker and start to draw on the outline and the darts. If you can, I suggest you to ask a family member or a friend to help you with the parts you can't properly reach because, well, as you can see, I was kind of struggling to keep everything symmetrical and nice aligned, so ask a friend. When I'm satisfied with all the marks, I cut myself out of the pattern. I carefully cut along one of the lines, making sure I accidentally don't cut my top off with the duct tape pattern. 
When the pattern is still holding its shape, you can still make up your mind, change or add more dart lines. Then, in the next step, you can cut it up in pieces and they are ready to be transferred into a paper. Let's go back quickly to the part when we were drawing up our lines with the marker. What if you don't like the result or you want to change something? The best solution I found for this is the good old nail polish remover. Just dip a q-tip into the bottle and erase the marks you don't like. It's very easy and comfy. So the next trick I want to talk about is fashion tape or double-sided tape. Sometimes our clothes or cosplays just won't want to stay in place. If you have similar issues like I'm showing you here, one of the easiest solutions is to temporarily tape the two pieces together. So what I do here, I just cut a small piece from the double-sided tape and carefully place it on the area that I want to be covered. If your dress strap is falling down or your bra strap is constantly peeking out, just temporarily stick the two pieces together to hide it. Of course you can use this technique for many more things, for example to fix down your belt, your color, a deep neckline or even jewelry. Another useful trick you can use fashion tape or double-sided tape for is to hold down small, decorative, stretchy fabric pieces on your cost base. Here I'm showing you what usually happens when I try to sew on a small decoration patch on anything. It just slides around and ends up looking crinkled, like my face when I tried out that creepy face app's old filter. And on this one I was using the double-sided tape. It held the square in place and kept it uniform looking. So here is my small patch. First of all, since it's a stretchy fabric, I iron on one layer of interfacing. This will already prevent it from crinkling up. And here I'm just trying to show you that even if the patch is already stiff, it's still moving around. So I just place it on the tape, like I'm showing you in this video, then cut around it. Finally, I remove the plastic from the other side and stick it in place. In this case, I place it on this small piece of lycra fabric. I stitch it down at the sides and voila, it ends up looking just as I wanted. I don't know if it's a problem for other people, but whenever I try to sew thinner fall leather straps the way I'm showing you, it's always a huge struggle to turn it right side out. It just sticks together and doesn't want to move at all. Since I'm obsessed with boba, I have a couple of white straws like this laying around at home. My solution is to slide the straw inside the leather strap, then poke it with a pen or a pencil. It slowly starts to move and eventually I can pull it out with the right side out. Yay! Success! And now the question is, but how can I sew the leather strap without making it a wrinkly looking mess? I think if you ever try to make a leather strap for your cosplays, you can understand the struggle. My solution for this is to use a regular hand cream. I just cream the surface of my strap and it slides like butter. It's actually very satisfying. You can clearly see the difference. After you're done working with the cream, make sure to clean your sewing machine to prevent the cream drying on your machine parts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I will link all the items I use in the description box, so make sure to click on that as well. And if you're interested, soon I will be back with the third part of this video series, well I can call it series, and it will have a bunch of cosplay makeup related stuff. So if you are interested, make sure to stick around because in about two yeah, in about two weeks it will be in my channel. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. It means a lot. Bye!